Hello and welcome back to the Royal Legion SMP series where in this episode we are gonna do some a little bit of building but some a little bit different building than what we have been doing with the storage room and the shop. We are gonna be making yes you probably guessed it by me taking out the axe we're gonna make a tree farm because I need that is a little bit loud I need a wood farm and it's dark, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I need a wood farm to farm these acacia trees right here. I have a bunch of saplings. We're going to make a little plantation here. Um, I added some, as you can see, I did a little bit of terraforming. I added a little bit of dirt here just to make it a little bit more level. And I marked out the areas that we're going to be working in. And hopefully we're going to make it look pretty cool. My intentions with this top of the mountain up here, I still need to clear out that dirt over there. But my intention is to make all of this up here a farming area. So like for wheat farms and for animal farms and in this case a tree plantation. So in my inventory I have these four items. I have some acacia logs to make more wood. We have acacia planks because we're going to need those to make the fence. We have a bunch of glowstone because we're going to need that for lighting. And of course, this saplings, which we are going to need. And of course, my axe. You know what? Let me just sleep first and let's get this show going. Also, I thought I would show you that this is the money that we have gained from our potion ingredients shop so far. 10 gold ingots and 5 diamonds. Um, all the guests here have been sold out and also... Some of the Phantom Membrane and Magna Cream have been sold as well. And one of the stack of 16 Netherwood has been sold as well. So we will have to stack up on that. And I didn't even sleep. Wow. I forgot. Alright. Now that we have slept, let us get down to business. My first intention was to actually make a machine here where I could have piston, pistons and a dispenser, a sapling, bone meal, being dispensed out of the dispenser and the pistons moving over the logs and then essentially when they reach a certain spot they would get pushed over so I could have a huge area with wood and basically almost just AFK grow the trees and then when they're done and I need some wood I can just chop them. But unfortunately I do not have a skeleton spawner so I don't have an infinite amount of bones nor does the farm work at all with acacia trees unfortunately and I can't find a way to make it work. Normally I think I would be able to make it work if observers were to detect when a tree grows but unfortunately there's a bug that makes them so they do not. So that is for another day or another version if that gets fixed. I don't know if it is fixed in the following in the versions after 1.13 such as 1.13.1 or 0.2 or the new 1.14 snapshots but we won't talk more about that let's get crafting so first off i will need a bunch of sticks to make a bunch of you guessed it fence let's get i need at least uh that's gonna be 32 so 32 so that's gonna be one stack at 32 yep that should do and then i need well a lot more wood that should do the trick right there. So just do this, just do that, like so. Boom, yes, hopefully this will be enough. I'm just gonna leave the corners for now, just so I can see better where the different areas are gonna be, like that. Hopefully we have enough, because I don't really wanna use too much wood here, but I think, actually I don't think we do. This is a 21 by 21 area, by the way. And, oh yes, we have enough. We have plenty. And we have some extra too. That is nice. All right. We're going to stick a fence in the middle or a gate in the middle, but I'm not sure where that is right now. Um, basically, then we just want to place out the saplings. So if we have saplings in the corner here, let's just remove that. Then there will be three space, one, two, three, sapling, one, two, three, sapling, one, two, three, sapling. One, two, three, sapling, and that will leave one space away from the fence. And then the same over here, sapling, 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 and sapling. And that is going to look really cool. Sheepish, I'm afraid you're in the way. There we go. And here, and here, and here. Again, three, and one away from the fence, which is perfect. What we want. 
And this is both gonna look really cool when the saplings are just there and the trees are not grown, but when they do grow, and let's say I don't need wood for a long time and all the trees grow big, it's still gonna look really cool from below. So that is pretty awesome right there. So three, three, three. And we're gonna make this place look really cool um, with some glowstone and hopefully I will be able to add some extra details here and there. Hopefully I'll be inspired in the process. All right, so that is the trees done. Now, I want to add a gate somewhere and I think I'm just gonna leave maybe two openings, one here and one down here, maybe. Yeah, I think that could look cool. Maybe we could add one in, on each row. Just like that. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. All right. So now we want some glowstone in here. And I think I'm going to go a little bit away from my normal design and put some glowstone here, here, here. So basically that's going to be what five. Yes, five glowstone on each row to light up the area at night and really make it look cool. That is not what I want to do. There, there, boom. That's annoying. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a super shovel. There we go. There, there. Oh, one of the trees has already grown. Perfect. Oh, oh man. This is gonna be, eh, this, will, this is gonna take a while. But we now have all the glowstone in place that is going to keep this place nice and lit during the dark. So what's next? I think I want to add some paths going down and then maybe turning here or something. I'm not sure. I think it would be nice. Oh, there we got another one. Yeah, we do kind of want this to happen. There we go. Um, yeah, I think maybe some paths here would look pretty cool with some stone slabs. So here, here, go through here, I think. And then put them all together here in the end so we can do like circles like this. And oh, where do we have some? Okay, fine, there we go. So just take this out like that. And this over here too. And down here as well. Perfect, so I just need a bunch of stone slabs. I now have a stack of 34 and hopefully that's gonna be enough to fill out this area that I wanna fill out. Um, you know what, we could have glowstone sitting right here. Hmm, and these sheep are not the brightest, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just gonna fill these in. I don't want to make put them double so it's full. I just want the top row here. I think this sheep really wants some attention, but I don't got time for that. <laughs> because what I want to do is actually put this here, break this one, and put glowstone in right here. So we still have that glue right there. And sheep, I, I'm, I'm afraid you really, really, really gotta go. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else can we add? I was thinking of maybe tilling this earth here so we can grow stuff around the tree. Though I don't know how we would get water to this unless we add water here. I might try and see how that looks. Let me just get an extra bucket. Let's see how this is going to look if I could do it at the right area. So around the tree here, seeds in, just like that and add some water right here. Though then it would be nice if this area was dirt as well, just to make it look nicer. And then of course, stone slab right there. And water, actually, it's quick. Actually, we have a full water area over there. No need for um, infinite water sources when we got that. I think this could look really nice, not because I really need the food, but I mean, then it's there and we might as well if it's going to look really cool, right? So you know what? I'm going to need that. I'm not going to need the torches. So 
that's this area here and that's gonna feed this over here but not this so I think add seeds in this one just so it doesn't decay and then around this one as well like so and then add water to this so that that water remove this delete that put this water and then of course seeds around this right here yeah this could actually get to look really really cool i hope it will i really want to make this area look very nice um so like when the trees are grown there are weed around here oh i think this is actually gonna look really awesome hopefully hopefully it will you know what let's do a time lapse right here where i fill this area in with water etc so let me just do this one and break this one to this one water water perfect let's start a time lapse and see me put all this stuff in and hopefully it's gonna look really awesome when we're done starting time lapse in three two one All right, that is everything done, I think, for now anyways. Um, I still want to add a few things here and there. For example, over here, I still want to add this and this right there just to make it look good. Um, so like that and that. I don't know what I should put on here. I'm thinking flowers, but I don't know what would actually fit this area. So. I'm not sure yet. Leave me your suggestions down below in the comments. And over here, hmm, I'm not what sure to add over here. I could continue just continue this over, but I feel like I want to do something different here. Maybe, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Leave your suggestions down below. I might figure something out off camera, but you know what? We'll find that. Out. I'm thinking maybe putting like water here and then sugarcane maybe I don't know I don't know what will fit the best but for right now I think this will look pretty good as is you know what maybe we could just do that and put some path in there just to make it look nicer a little bit like this for now just like that and you know what I had just enough of um, stone slabs here yes just enough so that is perfect um yeah i think that is it for now probably just some flowers or something you know what let's see what flowers we have downstairs okay we don't have that many actually <laughs> i think we were just gonna leave those for now let's just put that in there i'm gonna keep these let's put everything back in its place just like that and there we go and the final wood go in there and you go here you go here yes i think everything is done and dusted i just tried to add some flower in here and it actually adds a lot of color to the place 
So I think maybe just randomizing them a little bit. Ooh, like that could work actually. So add one here, add a yellow one, then add a red one, a blue one, and then a blue, and then a red. I don't know. Yeah, I think that might actually look good. I think I'm gonna leave that for now, hopefully. Actually, I can fix that up. I don't like having a bare dirt right there. So let's take you out, take you, take you, put you, and put you back out here. Just like that, perfect. And yeah, I don't know whether you're over here though. Maybe, I don't know, I'll probably pick some more flowers or buy some from Cameron's shop in the shopping district. I believe it is open, but I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him if it is. But anyways, we just want some gates here so these sheep don't go in here. So that's one, two, three, four, four gates. And there we go. Nope, not like that, buddy. <laughs> not like that. Come on, break. There we go. And you know what, some torches here just to make it look nice and we can see where everything is just like that. It might even be too many torches. Yeah, I think it is actually too many torches. You know what, let's just remove these. We got the glowstone and that hopefully should do right there. Yes, I think that's, I think that's good. I might continue the path out here maybe, I'm not sure, I don't think I will. Though I do think I want to extend these one bit. So let us just get up, uh, really, there we go. So one up, torch, and then go over to the other one. Fix this one up, torch. And I really wonder how this is gonna look at night as well. So break this up, place. This looks so good in my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments and you know what, while that sheep is there, you know what, get out. You are not allowed in here. There we go. Hmm. Maybe we do need a few torches here actually. One here, one here, and one here. Yeah, that can work. Yes, I think that, whoops. <laughs> I think that works. You know what, let's jump down and see how it looks from downstairs. I mean, a lot of the trees have grown already and that hopefully will give me plenty of wood for all the projects that I need in the future. And fall down, whee! Yes, that actually looks really good, I think. Really good. Oh, skeleton. You know what, that would look so awesome without that hit there. So I think we are gonna, unfortunately, for the people who build it. I will be removing that in the next episode. But yes, that is looking pretty good. Of course, you can't see all the green stuff from down here, but you can see the trees and you can see the fence and there's a spider following me. No longer. Oh, and there actually needs a torch here and there. Oh, nope, wrong button. I still get the buttons wrong for some reason. And this one is to close it. Done. Let's just get up quickly and see how it looks one more time. And there it is, looking pretty cool with a brown sheep in front of it, but that's fine. <laughs> there we go, let's get down, let's bring my FOV back, 280, which I normally play at, there we go. Alright, so that is, this, I guess, the start of a farm area for the top here. That is our first farm right here. I'm probably gonna chop all these trees down now and get a bunch of wood and replant all the saplings, of course. But I think that'll be it for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Remember to join my Discord server, link down below, and follow me on Twitch and Twitter, link down below as well. But yes, hope you enjoyed, and remember to check out everyone else's channels, link down below as well. And yes, I hope to see you next time. Next time? No, next time. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye.